years. So, um, you know, there was really no choice, money or no money, uh, to work with Nancy and to, to work on such a fantastic project. It was, it was a no-brainer. Uh, I think uh, introducing a character at the start of a film uh, is always tricky to avoid sort of um, blatant exposition and stuff like that. And so I want to talk a bit about the opening sequence, which I thought was just phenomenal in terms of uh, letting us get into her character, understand what she's about in sort of the most natural way possible. Could you talk about um, how important that, that whole opening sequence was to you both? Well, actually, it's an interesting story behind that opening sequence. That was actually, that, that part of the script existed about a year before I, um, I witnessed that on the street. But besides from witnessing a scene like that, because, you know, in any city, people with cell phones, right, our personal life just suddenly gets broadcast, and we don't really think about it. Um, but besides having seen that, um, there's a beautiful movie uh, called Amore by Roberto Rossellini, starring Anna Magnani, which is basically a love letter to Anna Magnani. It's two short films. The first part of that movie is called The Human Voice, based on a play, and it's a woman on a phone breaking up with her lover. And that movie, I've just known it for many years, and just very, speaks to me about how you can get a performance that's just riveting, and it could be the most simple story, it could be the most humane, like little slice of life that you can't take your eyes off Anna Magnani. And I actually, I never ever, uh, would tell an actor, here, take a look at this and I want you to be this person. But I did give the film to Mira, and, it, and before I was able to say something, Mira was like, why, why is she having me look at Anna Magnani? <laughs> like, like, what am I supposed to do? But I, I think I explained to you, uh, when you see this movie, this is your mother or someone, you've seen women like this in your life. Your character knows this character. So it's more like, don't be this character, but this is your background. This is where you come from, which is drama. <laughs> yeah, and I could never be Anna Magnani, who was so perfect and like a, a beautiful Greek statue melting, you know. <laughs> and she's so still and, 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 and lovely and heartbreaking. Uh, but it, it was fine, because usually, usually it's very hard, because if, if, if somebody tells an actor, you know, watch this, and that's what I'm going for. And that wasn't really what Nancy was doing at all, but it was certainly her inspiration for writing that section of it. and. Um, and, and it was helpful for me to think that I was living in a house, probably, you know, with the Patty the Home character when, she, when I was a kid, that would become so overtaken by her emotions that nothing would exist in the world except the situation that was capturing her emotions, as, as happens with people who are a little bit imbalanced. And, you know, obviously my character is imbalanced as well, but, uh, but hopefully with a little bit more generous a spirit than the mother's. But, so, so that was our kind of tip of the hat to uh, Rosalini and Anna Magnani, but certainly in no way did I feel that it was ever similar to that. <laughs> that was the inspiration. It was inspiration, but it's also for one of the thoughts that we had, you know, in starting this movie, which was we knew we were going to do a small story. Uh, we knew that what, what we had to work with was basically resources was to make it very intimate and small. But also, I think that what you often don't see in a lot of films today is raw emotion, because things tend to be a little bit packaged and smoothed over and made to fit a story and sort of vacuum packed. And I thought, and that's why I was so happy to have this cast with me, is that the two of them were pretty fearless. I mean, that's kind of scary for an actor to kind of just go out there because they don't know what, where they're gonna end up, you know? Because we're, I'm not really saying we're gonna end up here. Like, you just went, you know? Um, but that you can't get that kind of performance if you, you know, box everybody in. You can't. And, and I don't know, the reason why Anna Magnani was an inspiration is because, she, and sometimes people would criticize her, I was like, God, she's awfully messy. Just like they criticized Maria Callas for her singing. It wasn't technically perfect, but that woman was feeling something and letting people know. And I just, I appreciate that in actors. Um, and I really appreciated watching uh, the two of them work like that. So 